What's going on YouTube? This is Diecast Construction Expert here and I have uh, another unboxing. Been doing quite a lot of these lately it seems like, but uh, I'm not complaining. Um, first off, I've got a package here from Diecast Emporium. I have uh, flipped it upside down to uh, not show off his identity and or his uh, place of residency. So uh, without any further ado, I've already got everything open because if I don't then it's just going to make everything just really jumpy and I know all of you really love seeing me just throw the camera all over the screen. Um, I'm going to start out with the back of the shirt first. Um, you can see there it's got all of his uh, information, Diecast Emporium on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, Glad there isn't a Twitter thing on there. I might not have even gotten the shirt. That's just a joke. Um, anyways, this is the back of the shirt. Now that y'all have gotten a good look at that. And right here on the, the heart chest piece, you've got the Diecast Emporium logo also imprinted there in orange, which looks very, very good. Um, definitely, if any of y'all want to get the Diecast Emporium t shirt, go check him out on Instagram and or Facebook. Um, probably one of the two of those would be the easiest way to get in contact with them if you want to, uh, want to get one of the shirts. And if you do want one and you got it from this video, just let them know that Diecast Construction Experts sent you to pick up one of his awesome shirts. Without any further ado, we're going to get into uh, the second box here, which uh, I'm already kind of spoiling. I'm just going to this is uh, this has come from uh, Custom Styrene, also known as Lee, uh, the infamous Lee. Some of you have heard about on Instagram and seen his work on uh, Facebook, I'm sure. Um, I have a few, one other project that's still in the works with him, uh, but this was just something I was able to uh, pick up from him here recently that uh, I was not expecting to be able to do. And uh, I am at work here, and I'm just making a mess. Alright, so first out of the box, it appears we have the, here is uh, the diesel tank, which has uh, got a little thing to keep it upright, and you got a little handle on top to move it, and so forth, and uh, included with that is this piece of uh, rubber here for uh, the gas line. I know that my fingers are a little dirty and you might not be able to see it, but that's the gas line there that you would attach. And he has also made this little uh, fuel nozzle there. You can, can't really see it too well, but uh, just a tiny little nip there to uh, replicate a, uh, a fuel uh, nozzle handle, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, second off, we've got a bedding box here. Um, I've been seeing a few people lately on Instagram and Facebook with these and whenever I found out that he had a couple that he was just getting ready to sell I, I figured I just had to get one. Definitely going to add uh, a little bit more realism and, and uh, coolness to the next diorama that's coming up which I can't wait for and uh, hopefully y'all will definitely be excited to see it as well. Um, Let's see here, gonna have to do a little bit of digging. Not too much though, especially with this one. This is uh, this is something that I've been really looking forward to. Probably gonna go to get ahead and get to work on it right away. Um, these are some ROPS, R-O-P-S, for a Caterpillar Norscot, I should say Norscot, Caterpillar D6T in 150 scale and I'm not exactly sure how they're going to mount up just quite yet but it should not be an issue at all because they are purpose built exactly for the D6T so it shouldn't be any issue whatsoever. Um, this is a really high quality looking piece right here. I'm going to set it down before anything horrible happens. And let's see, should only be one more little goodie in here and voila here it is we've got uh, a little trench box that I got from him nothing too wild it's not a very big one but uh, 
it gets the job done, obviously. And uh, come over here to the countertop real quick. It does uh, come apart for transportation, as you can see here, which is obviously really sick that he made that uh, possible. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Um, I know I'm kind of wandering all around here, but uh, that is that is all of it. There's no other surprises in here. No, no randomness, just peanuts. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today. Um, like I said, check out Diecast Emporium. He is a really sweet dude. And uh, like I said, he's got the t-shirts. So if you want a t-shirt, go hit him up. But that's going to do it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next unboxing or review. Going to probably be doing a review. Uh, running a little bit behind on those. But uh, definitely we'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good rest of the day.